Big day for the economy, big day for millions of British households who are wondering what Rishi Sunak can do for them. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I'm just I was talking to a neighbor of mine who's a, a single parent and she said that just her energy bill, her new monthly energy bill is a week's wages for her. You know, I mean, this is the Crikey. reality of it. And so people who are on very low incomes are, are hoping that Rishi Sunak will pull something out of the hat. And that also includes, of course, people who are retired. Uh, because if you're retired, you're on a fixed income, particularly if you're living off the state pension only, and that's, that a lot of people are, you're really wondering how you're going to cope with the increasing cost of living. Mm. And that's the big challenge. I'm going to cross now to Siobhan McDonald. I do want to just let our viewers know that, of course, we'll have a Conservative MP with us in the studio. Um, but Siobhan, what is the Labour Party looking out for today? How will you be... What, what are the tests that you have for Rishi Sunak? Well, I mean, our hopes are that he will see sense about the national insurance rise. Now's not the time to be increasing people's taxes from their incomes because it gives them so much less to meet their bills and to spend in the economy and to actually increase a windfall tax on the gas and electricity companies. I think it was the uh, chief executive of British Gas says they had more money than they knew what to do with. Well, I suspect that everybody on this panel and all your viewers know what they could do about it. And um, what we as Labour would like to see is that it gets £200 off people's bills generally. But for the, for the worst off, uh, £9 million, a further £600. And, you know, we know this problem isn't just for today or next week or next month. It's a long-term problem and we need to take action to improve the insulation of our homes to make us less dependent on using gas and electricity. So it's about the immediate but it's also about the long term. Siobhan, sticking with you, it seems to me this cost of living squeeze coming off the back of a pandemic during which the Chancellor, dishy rishy as he was, he might not be after today, <laughs> you know, he spent 300, 400 billion pounds, that's 400,000 million pounds, huge amounts of money you know, three or four times what we annually spend ordinarily on the NHS. Huge sums put the fi public finances in the hole, if you like, lots more debt. So now we're in a situation where you've got a Tory MP who tries to present himself as a Thatcherite saying we are going to have this tax rise. And you've got a Labour MP saying it's not time for a tax rise, Rishi. I think we should have a smaller state. Yeah. What's but going on? But surely, Liam, it's about doing the right thing, isn't it? And the right thing at the moment has got to be don't increase people's income tax. There isn't another country in Europe, another country in the big G7 nations that are doing this. They're actually cutting taxes uh, on incomes because they want people to be able to meet their bills and go to their hairdresser or buy their newspaper or wherever it is. Because if we're Keep not, the economy moving. Yeah, we're not greasing those wheels of the economy. There's an awful lot more going on than just people not being able to meet their bills. Um, and I think it was the chief executive of Iceland this morning made a comment about households being unable to boil potatoes. Mm -hmm. Uh, because uh, of the cost in food prices and the cost in energy, uh, in energy bills. And, you know, it has a spiralling effect because if you think about it, if you're really worried if you can feed your kids or eat your ho or heat your home, then what does that do to your mental health problem? You become another statistic on those lists mm. looking for mental health support. So this isn't just one thing. It increases out to the way we live our lives. And we're not just talking about the poorest anymore. Mm. We're talking about families who are, are dependent on being able to meet their mortgage, mm. be able to pay their childcare. There just isn't that room for manoeuvre in their household budget to meet some of these costs. I mean, I think the increase uh, in average ta uh, gas and electricity bills in April uh, will be around um, £700, but that's not the end of it. In October, we're seeing a further £400. You know... People like the lady uh, who pays a week, yeah. a month yeah. of her income in her energy bills, mm. and you've got uh, the council tax bill coming in. And I know that the Chancellor... Uh, Reduce that by 150. Yeah. But those Only bans A to D. Yeah, not many A to D homes in the South East. Yeah, and those bills are already going up. So the net effect is not a reduction of mm. 150. Mm.